Well, over the weekend, Republicans and Democrats in Congress finally reached a deal on a COVID relief bill. CBS 17's Basil John takes a closer look at the measure as lawmakers head toward the finish line. Well, we've been working for quite some time to get to this point. Virginia Democratic Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger says it's about time Congress came to terms on a COVID bill. We are ensuring that relief is available to the American people. The legislation includes $600 direct stimulus checks, $300 a week in unemployment benefits, billions for the Paycheck Protection Program, and more. We have finally joined together realizing that yes, a deal is better than no deal. But now lawmakers are arguing over who's responsible for the long delay. West Virginia Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito says Republicans tried to get ahead of this. While I'm glad that an agreement has been reached, we certainly should have done this earlier and could have done this earlier. It's actually really deeply disappointing. But Democrats blame Republicans and point to the HEROES Act, which passed the House in May. It is terrible that it's taken us this long to actually get across the finish line with a negotiated deal. And the discussions around COVID relief do not stop with this bill. We need to begin the conversations tomorrow about what's happening in the economy, what's happening in the lives of the American people and small business owners. The Biden administration promises more COVID relief will come in the new year. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.